onto the Group 1 feature. It is the Northern Oaks for 2012, last year taken out by Carabella in Secret Potion in 2010. The pass goes to the Jewelers Northern Oaks. And uh, Craig, we're looking at Twist and Twill two starts ago, the three-year-old filly by Arts Place. And Mark Purden did state she, he was pretty disappointed with her last start fourth, though. Well, he had to be disappointed, Jess. She went out as a, what, a dollar sixty favourite and, and what was a far weaker field. There was only seven in it. What I would say in that race, the race was really run to suit her. They walked dirty, they sprinted quickly from the 400. It was only a sprint home and I don't think that's her go. And I think Mark alluded to in the interview with uh, Johnny Bright during the night that, hey, she isn't cranked up yet. She's had a bit of a spell between uh, that race that we've just seen and the 17th of February at Alexandra Park. Three weeks between the races. I think you'll see a far better horse on Friday night. The 2700 metres is ideal. A filly by Arts Place. She's a great stayer. Barrier one, she has good gate speed. I think she'll go forward. There's a couple outside her, like Cheer the Lady and, and her stable mate, Oh Baby, that can leave the gate. But if she can hold up from that inside draw, she's going to be extremely hard to beat on Friday night in Pasco the Jewels, Northern Oaks. I thought this is her race to win. Dangers will be Dancing Diamond. She's raced brilliantly uh, week in, week out for the last six months. Lovely filly by Better's Delight. Gives Mark Purden a very strong hand in the race. Cheer the Lady, I think, has been the big improver in the last three or four weeks. Zach Butcher drove last week, or He's in Perth for the Junior Drivers uh, Series over there at the moment. David Butcher will pick up the drive on Friday night. She's got good gate speed. Of course, she's uh, a very nice uh, filly uh, who's won her last two starts and certainly not out of a race like this. So nice field, twist and twirl from an inside draw. I know there's a little bit of uh, a concern of, on, on the way she performed last week, Jess, but she was here on Saturday again and I thought she worked OK. So I think Mark Purden has uh, ironed out the problems that uh, led into that run last week and I think she'll strip a far better horse. And with that draw from Barrier 1, she'll be a very dominant favourite on Friday night.